So last week's homework assignment was to do a social media detox. And during that time, I discovered two things. One, I'm pretty sure I was the only one who did it because I didn't hear any feedback, but whatever. And two, I discovered that there are a lot of complainers online. Now, I'm not saying one should never complain. I mean, sometimes you just got to vent and let that frustration out. But I think we should be a little bit more selective in terms of what we complain about. For example, I was on Snapchat the other day and there was this girl who created a five minute story slash rant about how she broke her heel while she was at a wedding. The heel of her shoe, not her actual heel. It's not the most ideal situation given where you're at, but it's definitely not worthy of a five minute video. Now I could understand if she was running out in the woods and being chased by Jason Voorhees and just so happened to break the heel of her shoe. And the last snap that we saw was her getting impaled by a machete. Yeah, that's definitely grounds for a complaint. Only she'd be dead, so. What's funny is she was so mad. Like she had to drive 20 minutes back to her house just to get a new pair of shoes. But it's not about you. She wasn't the bride. She wasn't even part of the bridal party. She was just a regular guest. I mean, if she was a bridesmaid, then I'd be able to sympathize with her a little bit more because she, she kind of needs that other heel for symmetrical purposes. Because now in every group photo, she'd be the only one doing a gangster lean, having everyone asking, oh my God, what's up with Deborah's shoulders? Now you look stupid and everyone's talking about you behind your back like- No wonder she's still single. She can't even keep a heel. And I was reading a study earlier and I don't know if it's at all accurate, but it was saying that complaining is really bad for your health. The brain can be very lazy at times and will do whatever it can to process new information in the most efficient way. And so every time you complain about something, the brain creates a permanent bridge for that information to flow. But when that happens, you're creating easy access for that negative energy to flow through you. And as a result, it makes it easier for you to fall into a lowered state. Which brings us to the homework assignment for the week, and that is to stop complaining. For the purpose of this challenge, for the next couple days, we're going to refrain from complaining at all. You're going to go out to your local dollar store and you're going to get a pack of rubber bands. You're going to take seven of these rubber bands and wear them on your left wrist. And each time you catch yourself making a complaint, no matter how minor it is, you're going to take one band from your left and put it onto your right. The objective is going the next three days with your right hand completely rubber band free. And this time I want you guys to take a picture of the bands on your wrist. That way I know you guys are at least doing the challenge. Don't have me out here doing this stuff by myself, man. We're, we're a team, okay? Push starters, let's get it. No, but seriously, t give me that photo. Anyway guys, I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you are new to this movement, then you can join the group by clicking the link down below in the description. All the information is there. And uh, introduce yourself while you're at it, you know, and let us know why you're trying to join our group. And uh, we're very welcoming. So, I mean, there's, there's no prerequisite other than just you know, let us know what you're what you're here for. I'm your boy Tactics. Peace, and I'm out. Where am I going? I, this is my car.